What I'd like to demonstrate for you is how simple it can be to schedule a meeting all within Teams. Scheduling meetings with team members outside your organization can involve many emails, chats, and even texts. Instead, by using the approved contact calendar bot and tab, we can quickly find a meeting time that works for everyone. It's super easy to add the tab to your environment. You hit the plus symbol here. You find your calendar bot. You just type in calendar bot and find it. Tap on it, save, and you're good to go. I'm not going to do that because I already have applied it here for the purposes of this demo. But the beauty is that once you have it added to your project team, it automatically pulls in all your team members, regardless of what organization they belong to. So you can see here that I am logged in under this organization called 8Bot, while all these other members are from Approved Contact. Now, most likely they can see their calendars internally, but they can't see my 8Bot calendar internally. And likewise, I can't see their approved contact calendars internally. But while I'm in this Teams environment, I can see schedules and times that are available for them right here in this one view. And this view is showing me, this weekly view here, is showing me all of these team members' time pulled together. So if we're not all available, it will not show availability. If we are all available, then in white, you see the times that are available, and in gray, you see the times that are blocked out. Now, I'd like to schedule a meeting for next week. When I look out at next week, I see that there's no times available. So what's the best way to see why it's all blocked up? It seems weird that every day is blocked out. So the best way to do that is to go to my day view, and it starts at the first day of the week. And I start to see right away, there's Monday. I see times available for everyone but Robin. If I look at every day, I kind of start to see that Robin's blocked out every day. She's on vacation next week. So we can either have a meeting without Robin or we can say, nope, I need Robin in my meeting. I'm gonna look out the following week. So as I look out there, I see some times that are questionable. When do I really want to schedule this meeting? Who's available? Who's not? Again, I can do the same thing. I can just pick a time where we're all available or starting in the morning, or I can look for times that the specific people I need to be in the meetings are available. I can also uncheck people here. And you can see when I do that, it opens up the times that they were busy. So if I know that Robin isn't needed, or in this case, let's say Carrie's not needed, I can do this meeting time here on Friday, or I can just schedule it for everybody. When I schedule it for everyone, I just tap there. It immediately puts me, sets me to that time, and it puts a half hour bucket in, by the way. You can change that if you'd like. So if I wanna make that a full hour, I can do that. I'll put in a title, status update, get team status update, and I can schedule that meeting. And now, while it's green, it's in the background sending those invitations out and stuff like that. And then once that's done, it changes to gray. That is the simplest way and a best way to schedule a meeting without leaving teams for all of your people, whether they're in your organization or in a third party organization in your team. So thank you. Uh, please request a demo or get it now. Start quickly and easily setting up meetings, even with those outside your company. Thank you.